hello friends my name is kamal yado so i am with another webinar on bg17 so today we are going to cover the feature newly incorporated in bg17 that is the export of a single voucher from one company to another company so this feature is quite useful in today's business world so you know we uh, have a scenario let's take an example when a principal company is supplying goods to its dealers and uh, when the sale invoice is raised by the principal company it has many information like the uh, voucher number the name of the principal company the list of the items the quantity price applicable discount the barcode number the parameter the serial number all these things are there so when the sales is done by the principal company the dealer or the distributor they have to put the purchase if their purchase so they have to manually enter all this information so this feature is quite useful in this case so using this feature the distributor they can select a file and automatically they can load the name of the party name of their supplier and the line item with the sub details like parameter pc and serial number etc another scenario is that uh, you have branches at various location you send good from one location to another location and in that case also you can implement this feature let's say take an example the head office in delhi is transferring good to jaipur to the branch so in that case the head office will put the sale voucher and the branch will put the purchase voucher to manage the branch accounting but the automation can be done in case of the loading of the line item also so we will see the implementation of all these things can be done so single voucher will be used to export and import in other company xml format is used uh, file will be exported in XML format and it can be automatically emailed also and uh, while feeding the voucher file can be path of the file can be given to load the details and the mapping of master is also quite important like uh, the name can be same let's say the uh, branch is transferred good from the head office the name of the item can be same then you have to map it if it different then you have to map it so the mapping also we will see uh, we'll come to the practical implementation in busy now so i have created two company company one and company two we will use the company one to export data so this is the sale for this company So we are doing the sales transaction. I'll create the item. So two items so all these warnings will obviously will come into the picture so sales is done now while exporting the invoice there is a option of xml it's a new option where you want to export where you want to create the file you can give the path so xml will be created based on the format that you have chosen we have chosen standard format so xml will be created whatever information is uh, defined in the standard format will be uh, configured in the xml format also that is created at the desktop so this xml is created here sales one 
we'll come to the company two. Let's say one item is here. Item A. I'm creating here item A. And uh, now we have to watch it, how it is going to work. Let's say don't change the party, select this party so that you will be able to understood that. There is the option of uh, Alt F12 or Paste you can click. Now you can see that XML is loaded. You can give the path from the desktop. This is the XML. It will show you everything here. Company name from which it is exported. Voucher type sale voucher number one on which date the voucher belong to. It, it, the information is show, uh, shown here so that if there are multiple files you can recheck it before importing so that you can eliminate the chances of error. See. XML has been received from party uh, from party company one would you like to proceed now see company one it is the name of the company from which the data is exported check here this is the name of the company here company one from which it is exported it is saying company one is not found here in your database what should I do should I create a new company one or should I map it to some master already created by you but with a different name if you say create company one is created here you can see that company one is created here so we are not saving this In my system, the name is Company One Limited. I have created by a different name. I am giving you all the scenarios. This was the Company One from which the data is exported. Sales was exported. So, okay, I have used the item A, so you can make it item B also instead of item A. So I am again exporting it and uh, making a file so that two items can be incorporated in this same file. So this is going to override that already exported file. We will come to comp2 where we have to put the purchase. I am doing step by step showing you all the possibilities. I am saying company one limited. I am giving the path of the file and I am selecting it. It is saying company one not found. I am saying in my database company one is company one limited. Map it. Don't ask me again and again. It is mapped in the background. Now it is saying item B is not found in your database. What should I do? Should I create a item B then in same by the same name item B will be created. Item A is not asked here. As you can see because in both the company the name is same. So it is not asking me. It is by default taking that if the name is same. But if item B is not found it is asking me what should I do? In your database in com company 2 there is no item B. What should I do? Should I create a new item or you want to map it with another item that is created here by a different name. I can map it also. Let's say in my database this should be BB. I am mapping it. No, not creating new, I am mapping it. Map successfully. You can see that. Item A is loaded. Now I will open both the voucher. Company 1 and uh, this is the purchase in the another company VAT is found here automatically so it is picked here automatically those master which are found common will not be asked common means exactly the same spelling 
will not be asked to map or to create it will be automatically loaded so like this we can import the sale from a company to another company stock transfer or all these voucher can also be uh, automated using this feature another thing in that this is the comp2 mapping I have done from inside the voucher in configuration there is a mapping of master option this is the mapping of masters you can see account which I mapped there is already mapped here by automatically another list I can map here I can say if voucher is coming from comp ABC in my database this is by this name so outside voucher predefined in a predefined way I can map those markers so that at the time of voucher I don't have to map it I don't have to create it from outside at once I can map it if you see the item one item is mapped item A is not shown here because the spelling was same in both the databases comp1 and comp2 that why it picked automatically but from item uh, from comp1 company1 item B was exported but I don't want here item B I want here item BB I can also say here another company is there that is saying item B1 but in my case it will be item BB so like this also there can be uh, sales export from the many companies they know it by different name but my name is same so like this I can predefined it the mapping of item like this unit also and the bill sundry also you can map here so friend this is the feature you can use it and uh, you can also use it the file to email the recipients like if you go for the email here is the option you want to email as XML attachment or PDF and XML both will be sent you know in voucher configuration there is an option automatically email can be sent so when you save the voucher I am into the comp1 from which the sales was exported now I can say send XML or send both PDF and XML as attachment so it will be automatically emailed to the respective email ID of the recipient so friend this is the feature it's quite powerful in today's business scenario so the principal company can send this file to the distributor or dealer it will ease their work of data entering automatically you can put the line items with the details and uh, the branch case also can be implemented and remember the thing if you are exporting serial number in busy the batches the parameter the PCN everything will be imported in the recipient company also if you have enabled that feature in that company so friends uh, you have any clarification these are my contact detail you can contact me anytime for any clarification if you want on this feature my email is kamal.yadav.bg.in and my skype id is kamal.yadav6 so friends i will say bye to everybody so we are going to end this webinar.